Are these worth $500? Happy Friday guys, back out on the thrift today. We have a bunch of postage, we had a really good day on eBay yesterday, which was great. Gonna hit up Savers, which is becoming a bit of a <laughs> Friday tradition at this We've point. probably bled Savers dry, <laughs> but we're gonna look anyway. We're gonna give them another shot. <laughs> so we're gonna head out with Cara, just waiting for her to roll up. We'll take you guys along for the week like we always do. We'll probably do a little bit of a pick and pack this week as well, so stick around for that. But let's go find some stuff to sell on eBay. Let go. Picked up this awesome Mars leather motorbike jacket. It is so heavy. And uh, Very heavy. a bunch of other stuff as well. So, nice to stop. <laughs> I was going to pull up on your bike look. Oh, yeah. Happy Saturday guys. Today we're just gonna get some listings up. We're going to go to an exhibition this afternoon with some family, so that should be fun. So I'll show you guys what we've been drafting and uh, what sort of process we go through to get this stuff up. Okay, so these are just a couple of the drafts we've done this morning. So you can see we're trying to list like like items. So we've done PS2, Jazzy's been drafting them. And I've been working on all these shoes here. So you can see these are from that big lot that we picked up the other week. We've got some Red Wing shoes there, some Hugo Boss, Red Wing again, Thomas Cook. So essentially what we're gonna do with these is just give them a quick little clean up, make sure they're all nice and neat before we list them up, get them sorted, and then we'll put them into a tub. So what we'll do after we list it, we will put them into a custom SKU box. So this A1 goes into our custom SKU and the shoe will go into this box here. So as you can see, these are all the shoes that we listed yesterday in A1. That one's pretty full, so now we'll start one that says A2 and put that in the custom SKU so that we can find them when they sell. And I need to get to some drafting. We still have plenty of clothing and shoes left over from that lot. And we also went out on Friday, which you guys saw a bit of as well. So plenty to do here on Sunday. And then later tonight, we'll be going live with the boys on Wide World Reselling. So Sunday's on a rest day. They just keep rolling into the week. So let's get into it. We've just uh, finished filming our pick for the weekend. And now Jazzy is getting to some photos of some of the shoes we picked up in that bulk lot. Good morning, it is Monday. I have not yet put away all of these shoes that I listed yesterday, but one of these pairs of Red Wings has sold overnight. It is this pair. So that's a very nice $250 to kick off the day. That's nice and motivating. New tub? Oh yeah, it's a good one. Okay, hop out. Hop out. Oh Lord. All right, while Jazzy's sorting out those shoes, I'm gonna list some of the shirts that we picked up from Savers the other day. I don't think we showed you everything we picked up, so I'll do a little quick flick through with some of the stuff I'm gonna be listing today. Okay, first up, just picked up this little Helly Hansen uh, short sleeve shirt. Um, good sort of hiking brand. We started selling that really well. Now this one here is quite interesting. This is like a Quicksilver, and I think it's vintage. I don't really know the era. I haven't done my research on it just yet, but it is. It feels vintage to me, it looks vintage to me. Uh, I only paid $18.99, which isn't too bad, obviously 20% off as well. That's the tag there, guys. So if anyone has any information on this one here, what sort of era it is, that Quicksilver logo looks pretty old to me. It's like a shaggy sort of feel as well. So that was a nice little find at Savers. Uh, Jazzy found a nice little sports car for Liberty print. Sorry about the lighting, guys. Uh, at Savers as well, we paid up for that one, $13.99 minus discount, but Liberty has been flying out for us. I picked up this G-Star jacket, uh, $23.99 minus 20, so about 20 bucks, um, but that should go for about 79, maybe even 89. 
Uh, next up, it's just this Wrangler jacket. It's kind of like a waterproof material, which is very nice, size medium, 23.99. So that would have been about 20 bucks off discount as well. I expect to get sort of around that 70 or 80 on that one as well. I got myself a vintage Adelaide Crows uh, shirt on the Vivid tag, which is nice. Uh, as you know, Diary of Flipper talks about this sort of stuff all the time. Uh, 8 49 for that one. I should get about 50 bucks, I reckon. Next up, just a nice little Katmandu, uh, $16.49 for that one, which is a nice price. Again, should get around that $69.95 on that one. And this bad boy, you might have seen me wearing it, it is this Mars Australia Leathers. Now, this is a good brand to look out for in sort of motorbike gear. This thing is heavy. Um, I did pay up for it, paid $29.95, so about $25 after discount, but I reckon we should get about $150 on this piece here. So, very happy to have that one in the store. Jazzy just doing some packing, getting it ready for some overnight sales, some, some nice stuff going out the door. I also wanted to give an update. Those Manny Pacquiao shoes that I put up last week that I paid about 18 bucks for, I think average cost of goods was 10 in the end, they've sold. So they sold a couple days after I put out the last video for $213, which was awesome. Got an offer on them, took it straight away and happy to get that out the door. So keep an eye out for those hyper KOs. Uh, make sure they're authentic, but very, very hot item. Okay, we've just finished drafting all these jackets, shirts, jumpers, all that sort of stuff. I think there's about 18 jumpers, jackets, and shirts there. So that's how we like to do a lot of drafts is we put them all in the types, measure them all out, get photos, and then list them up. It's Wednesday and the workroom is finally starting to get back to normal. If you're watching last week, you know that right here there was an absolute mountain of unlisted stock. Happy to say that this is now listed. I have a little bit still to list in the box here. I've got a stack of stuff ready to photograph on the photo booth, but we're getting a little bit itchy, so uh, we might have to hit some Wednesday op shops. Peppa, you have not just opened this bag of kitty litter on the kitchen floor. You nugget. All right, we are gonna deal with this before we go op shopping. Stop opening it more. What a little turd. Yeah, pun intended. An op shop we've never been to. Something new today. That place was awesome. Teeny tiny op shop, really low prices, and they were doing half off as well. Brad got a VHSC recordable tape. It is still new. And I got a crumpler bag for $5. Probably gonna turn that into 50. But the best part was on our way out, she told us all the different places that they are sending the money to. So we're gonna keep coming back again because they're doing great. Number two. In. We got a whole bunch of Ninja Turtles for 15 bucks. So it's like 50 cents each. And Jazz got a little Under Armour. Just a little Under Armour. $5. Mask up, bro. I'm trying. Pretty sad. Nothing in that one, but uh, let's keep on going and see if the rain stops. I'm so glad we stopped in there. We almost weren't going to go to that one because I just picked up this Tom Brown uh, New York Made in Japan t shirt. This is like probably an 80 90 dollar plus t-shirt um we paid 14 bucks for that that is awesome first time i ever found that brand feels crazy quality and then an rm williams uh just like dress jacket for 22 bucks so very happy with that prices were so up and down <laughs> and then a bunch of just del toro books that we're gonna lot up they were four for three dollars so grabbed quite a few of those love it we're just listing some of these teenage mutant ninja turtle dvds I am very confused because there are sold comps on these for over 500 and up to $600. So I think there's one rare one in there, which is that one there. And that seems to be going for over a hundred. So I'm, good $15 spent? I, I'm not going to believe it until they <laughs> sell. But then I've also got these here, season four, box one and two, well, uh, box one and two for season four. And that seems to be like 150 to $200. Sometimes maybe good. We do have a bunch more here as well. Uh, I've listed a couple of these up as sets. I think this set was about 80 to 90 bucks. I've listed this one for about 60, that one for 40. So 15 bucks into what is potentially gonna be like $700. We'll let you know, I guess. 
I also still have to comp out this season one here as well. I've got almost all of those and these season two. So that $15 was an insane find. It's Thursday and we've got to get this video edited, but we forgot to show you a couple of things that we picked up in yesterday's haul. One of them being these waterproof Vibram Soul Wolverine boots. Brad got them for $5 and being a, a brand we haven't sold before, but with the Vibram Soul and being waterproof, uh, should be able to get about 50 bucks. Yeah, the only reason I picked them up was because the Vibram comps looked okay. So um, that's a new one for us, Wolverine, yeah. to keep an eye out for. Um, we obviously picked up another pair of RM Williams because that's what we do. Um, <laughs> these were just eight bucks, which is nice. Uh, they should go for about 45 to 50, just a basic pair of RM Williams jeans. But we are super excited about some of the comps on these Ninja Turtle stuff. Crazy, is it too crazy? I, I don't understand why these particular <laughs> ones would potentially go for over sort of $500. So this is Ninja Turtles Fast Forward and it's not something that I've ever heard of. So we want to hear from you guys. Has anyone actually sold this set for that high before? Or is this one of those like black diamond fake like listings that <laughs> actually doesn't news. go for that? <laughs> um, but it is interesting because this particular one here, as I said before, does go for like a hundred bucks on its own. So we're not going to lose our $15. Um, yeah, definitely happy to pay $15. We've got like 30 of them. So yeah. pretty happy with that. So thank you for joining us. We'll be back next week with another video. We'll take you guys along and we appreciate all the support. Quick shout out to Tom for buying us another couple of coffees. Thank you, Tom. We really appreciate it. And we will see you next time on Twasy Thrifters. Bye for now. Bye. Are these DVDs worth $500? Oh yeah, it's a good one.